Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with negative numbers. First, let's look at addition and subtraction, because they're really two sides of the same coin. And once you're learning negative numbers, you'll learn that they're actually the same thing, right? It's just adding a negative number is the same thing as subtracting a number. If you have negative 5 plus negative 6, you're going to be going further away from zero, you're starting already at negative five away from zero, and going further down the number line, taking it away, right? Minus six, minus, you're taking it away, to get minus 11, further from zero. But if you look at negative five minus six, that's actually the same thing. You're starting with negative five and taking six away, getting further from zero, deeper into the negatives, to get negative 11. So when I see a problem like this, in order to help myself visualize it, just because I prefer addition to subtraction, I like to change this into a plus and make this a minus. Whenever you see a subtraction sign, you can always say that's the same thing as adding a negative number. So negative five plus negative six equals negative 11, the same thing. Now let's look at multiplication and division. When we multiply two negative numbers, negative six, times negative five, we actually end up getting a positive number. Two negatives make a positive. Just like in grammar, if you say, I don't have no homework, that means you actually have homework. Two negatives make a positive. But if you just have one negative, I don't have homework, that means you actually don't have homework. Negative six times five, one negative, it's going to stay negative, negative 30. Same with division. 30 divided by negative six equals five, negative five, right? Because there's only one negative sign, but negative 30 divided by negative six, right? We have two negatives, we're going to get a positive, positive five. When they're doing more complicated problems with more numbers like five times six times negative three times negative two times negative one, right? Then it gets a little more tricky. And that's when I like to remember that even amounts of negative numbers, the problem will become positive. Odd amounts of negative numbers, the problem will become negative. So you just remember even positive, negative with odd. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with us today.